so hello guys welcome again with respect to my channel and today in this particular video we will be discussing with respect to one of the uh, resource which is available for the drug designing point of view okay so here who are working with respect to the chemoinformatics approach or else the bioinformaticians or else who are uh, working with respect to designing a new molecule so for that particular purpose if you want to go ahead and just find which are the particular drugs which are playing a similarity with respect to that and come up with designing a uh, huge molecules uh, for the particular kind of drug discovery and drug designing point of view okay so here is a, one of the resource where uh, a swiss similarity okay uh, where you will find the information that how exactly you can just search a keyword with respect to your drug in the file format is nothing but the smiles and what is smiles if you don't know then you can just uh, definitely explore explore the different uh, resources where the one of the format of what the smiles are given Smiles are nothing but the one of the format of the particular drugs, which is available in the simplified molecular input line entry. Okay, so it is provided with respect to the uh, smiles and then we have to just search over here. So I'm going to show you how exactly you can go from here. So you have to enter one of the smiles from here. Uh, so you can go with respect to the drug bank and you can check it out one of the smiles uh, and just uh, with respect to your again keyword search and you can paste over here and then we are going to move with respect to the select the compounds over here i'm going to show you how exactly you can go ahead but before that we will just directly jump uh, in the drug bank and if you want to know what is drug bank and how exactly uh, the drugs can be fetched from here okay so definitely you can go with respect to my one of the one more uh, video which I have uploaded regarding the drug bank. Okay, so a drug bank is a resource where you will get the information of the drug. So you can quickly just search the drug name from here. Okay, so I will go with uh, one of the compound, curing compound from here. And then, um, okay, or is this one compound which is available? And then I will get the, you have to just click on this okay downloads to get the smiles so i have just copied the smiles simply and i went over here and paste it okay so once it's done so you will just select the compound from here so you are the this are nothing but you can go with the one it is nothing but the drug and if you know you're working with any kind of bioactive compound or that's the commercial drug synthesizable so according to that you can filter out from here and once it's done then we have to just move ahead for the select the compound library and the screening method. So here for the 2D, they have given uh, the different approaches where you can just fetch the data with drug bank, okay? Uh, CHML I, uh, draw database uh, with respect to the uh, extracting the data because this resources contain a, a huge number of information of drug molecules okay so for 2d you can just select the different what you can say as the corresponding properties from here and for the 3d they have given this or else you need both of them okay so you can go with the one of the particular i'm interested in the pharmaco4 modeling so you need a pharmaco4 based on the drug bank so then you can just select that one okay you can even select the scaffold also but it will it will select only one of the item uh what you can say is options from here okay you might select from this from drug bank and if you think then i will go with from here so you have to just be focused with one of the resource that is what it will perform okay so we will go with the campbell because it's uh, it's providing a different information again for campbell i have given the video so i will just uh, performing the scaffold over here and then you can have to just simply select uh search the particular keyword okay once it's done so it will start searching the particular molecules with the similarity uh, and again in that i'm interested with the scaffold based similarity okay that is a good way so scaffold uh, based similarity that is nothing but here it will provide you the particular query and this is nothing but the results which i got from you okay so you can even download in the csc file format uh, to get the data uh, uh, from here okay so that is the best way where you can just use this resource and you can just further explore uh, not going ahead, but also um, exploring in the Swiss itself, okay? Because in the coming video, again, I'm going to just share a uh, different uh, modules which are available in the Swiss with respect to the um, docking point of view, okay? And also Swiss has a very good resources. If you just click over here, so you will find uh, the information what the Swiss 
is specifically for drug designing. So you will find, so I have done with the drug uh, target prediction from here. So that video is again available. So now we have done with the similarity. So if you want to know why the similarity is important, so it's a virtual based virtual, uh, ligand based virtual screening, what it exactly do, okay? So Swiss Amid ADME is also uh, shared with my YouTube channel, okay? So stay tuned for getting more information and uh, to explore how exactly the results can be utilized for further analysis. If you want to know that, so definitely you can just stay tuned with my channel. Thank you.